everyone loves a good underdog. Today in this video, I'll be giving you six up and coming Roblox YouTubers that have 200,000 subs or less. Welcome back to Vlox Flow. Let's get into the video. Number six, Roblox Mini Gunner. Known as Skunks on Roblox, this 14 year old YouTuber was able to turn his passion into an entire career before even becoming an adult. He has amassed over 100,000 subscribers within the span of only a few years, and we can only see him going up. In his videos, he rants, talks about movies, and most importantly, plays Roblox. He hasn't done a face reveal yet, and after his voice reveal brought in a ton of hate, that video was deleted. If you're looking for a smaller YouTuber to support, we recommend Roblox Mini Gunner. <laughs> Number 5, Peter Bread. Peter Brown, or Peter Bread, started his channel in 2010, and when he was only 13 years old. Initially starting with The Sims, he eventually moved on to Roblox a year later. Now he uploads Roblox related content frequently and has numerous series on his channel of Bloxburg. As of right now, his subscriber count is rising at a speedy rate, and we are sure that in no time he is going to be grouped with the big guns. In today's episode, which should be all of them, honestly, if you think about it, I should just be roasting every single build I do. Number 4, Straw. This Canadian Roblox YouTuber surpassed 100,000 subscribers a little while ago after beginning his channel at the end of 2017, and for good reason too. Most of his success comes from a very publicized duel between him and my username is this. A YouTuber with almost 1 million subscribers. They played Roblox Jailbreak against each other and Straw came out victorious. The two played many times with another one, and with the constant exposure to so many people, Straw was able to make a name for himself. Number 3, Real Matt. Notorious for having the worst Roblox content, Real Matt was able to surpass 100,000 subscribers. Unfortunately, since this happened, his channel got striked on YouTube because of the influx of complaints that came his way. People were not appreciative of the time or effort he put into his videos and were constantly calling him out for it. That board gamer even believes he was specifically to blame for the channel getting removed and he is happy about it. Nevertheless, Real Matt did have his own loyal fan base and everyone was very excited to see him go after crossing such a milestone. Where you are. Oh no. You're pro Number 2, Lego Bloxian. Lego Bloxian, formerly known online as Lego Blox, is a Slovenian Roblox commentary YouTuber who talks about stuff inside the Roblox community. He is also well known for exposing other Roblox YouTubers for scamming, clickbaiting, and cheating their way to success. He was also a well-known meme when it comes to his Twitter. Lego Bloxian had made an exposing video towards Nixter V for using him. Lego mentions that Nixter asked Lego for a DM back when Lego was a small YouTuber and would freak out about it. And Nixter said to Lego about being scared of a future exposing video on Nixter. And Lego mentions it's not a good way to start a friendship. Lego then shows three of Nixter's videos that shows Lego's videos to give Nixter the video ideas. And Lego calculated that Nixter had gained $1.5,000 just for reacting to Lego's videos. Lego did mention that Nixter's entire channel is based on reacting to others' videos. After the video went public and started blowing up, Nixter deleted those three videos. The next day, he exposed the video was up. Nixter V responded to Lego Bloxian and mentioned that Lego Bloxian blocked Nixter V first before Nixter essentially ignored him. Nick also mentions that he got the permission to react to Lego Bloxian's videos because Lego was fanboying. Nick then did mention how he uses Discord and says that he doesn't use Discord. And Lego Bloxian has already added Nick as he was able to DM Nick. Nick also shows that he doesn't use Discord and screenshotted his friends DMing Nick on Discord but never responded. And said that it doesn't make Nick hate his other friends who have Nick on DM on Discord. Not be much that they can steal, especially. Number one, Finapu. Peter Anderson, better online as Finapu, is an American Roblox YouTube gamer, born and raised in Oregon. He started his channel as a fun way to pass time after serving full time service missions for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. His pseudonym was created initially as a reference to the TV show Phineas and Ferb. His channel started with the mostly late night streams playing the game Town of Salem. This quickly transitioned into Minecraft with some of his friends and eventually Roblox as well. Peter is currently known for his Minecraft content as well as his weekly Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Mii Fighter Tournaments, where he takes current viewers, makes Mii characters out of them, and adds them to a fighter's tournament. Peter initially joined YouTube in January 2013, with his first upload not happening until February 3rd, 2016. He uploaded a video where he and a friend were performing piano as a test video, and later that week started regular uploads. In June 2017, he moved from Salem, Oregon to Denver, Colorado for his wife to attend college. Shortly after moving, Peter took a break from uploading content for their honeymoon, a three and a half week trip around the United States. In August 2018, Peter attended Mind Fair Denver, making the first convention he attended as a YouTuber. Not going to be doing an in-person 
Turkey Bowl this year. There are certain restrictions here in Oregon due to COVID. That is this brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.